let's say we had the omnipotent AI, so to speak, that was able to, you know, where we turn over the control of the central bank to the AI, we turn over all these other things to the AI. Then the question is, we say to the AI, now do the right thing. And then the problem with that is, and this is why I talk about, you know, creating AI constitutions and so on, we have absolutely no idea what do the right thing is supposed to mean. And philosophers have been arguing about that, you know, utilitarianism is an example of that, uh, of one of the answers to that, although it's not a complete answer by any means. It's not, not really an answer, it's just a way of posing the question. Um, and so I think that the, you know, one of, one of the features of, um, so I think it's a really hard problem to, you know, you think to yourself, what should the AI constitution actually say? So first thing you might think is, oh, there's going to be, you know, something like Asimov's laws of robotics. There's going to be one, you know, golden rule for AIs. And if we just follow that golden rule, all will be well. Okay. I think that that is absolutely impossible. And in fact, I think you can even sort of mathematically prove that that's impossible. Because I think as soon as you have a system that you know, essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to put in constraints that, okay, basically as soon as you have a system that shows computational irreducibility, I think it is inevitable that you have, a, of have unintended consequences of things, which means that you never get to just say, put everything in this one very nice box. You always have to say, let's put in a patch here, let's put in a patch there, and so on. A version of this, much more abstract version of this, uh, Gödel's theorem. So. Gödel's theorem is, you know, it starts off by taking the, uh, you know, it, it, Gödel's theorem is trying to talk about integers. It says, start off with Piano's axioms. Piano's axioms, you might say, and Piano thought, describe the integers and nothing but the integers. Okay, so anything that's provable from Piano's axioms will be true about integers and vice versa. Okay, what Gödel's theorem shows is that you can, that will never work that there are an infinite hierarchy of patches that you have to put on to Piano's axioms if you want to describe the integers and nothing but the integers. And I think the same is true if you want to have a legal system effectively that has no bizarre unintended consequences. So I don't think it's possible to just say, you know, if you, when you're describing something in the world that's complicated like that, I don't think it's possible to just have a small set of rules that will always do what we want, so to speak.